Oh, yeah. Hey. Woo. <laughs> I've had a burger tank in this place. I'm going to be a one-man cheeseburger apocalypse. Ah! I could go for a barbecue bacon burger and a large order of fries and orange soda with no ice and a piece of hot apple pie. Where your menu doesn't read apple pie. We don't serve that here. Neither do we have orange soda. Would you still like the burger and fries? Uh huh. That will be 987. Thank you. This here is some serious bullshit. Ain't my best day. This ain't how I thought it would go. Mm -mm. That's actually not a bad burger. All right. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> I found a burger tank in this place. I'm going to be a one-man cheeseburger apocalypse. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I could go for a barbecue bacon burger and a large order of fries and orange soda with no ice and a piece of hot apple pie. I could go for a barbecue bacon burger. I could go for a large order of fries and bacon Hey, settle down, okay? <clears throat> Hold on. Woo! Uh, testing, testing, testing. Give me just a second. Hey, settle down.
All right. <clears throat> oh man, hold on. Let me let me throw him out. Come on, my 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 boy Slayer here. Let me throw him in there for a second. All right, there we go. Then let me throw in uh uh. Well, he's not gonna show up because Chip Zanup's a faggot. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Let me throw in this guy. Hey, settle down, okay? All right. <laughs> where's my Where's my one of my boys? Uh, where's one boys? One of the Hodge twins. Hey, where's you the gig? All right. Where's uh Slayer hanging out? Where you at? He's so jiggled the mutsuko to me. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Where's my Where's my main nigga? <laughs> He's not my main nigga. I'm gonna spare you the uh, Kratos thing. I've been told that it was a very loud <laughs> emote that I have, but I still enjoy using it just to mess with some of you people. Um, <clears throat> this is OG, this is OG Bubbo. God, I'm playing this game or whatever. I'm playing it in the bathroom. I have no idea where that meme ever came from. Excuse me, let me move this mouse. I have no clue where that meme came from, but seriously, it is so strange where this game is known for being uh being played on like a small like old school monitor <laughs> in bathrooms and I really don't understand. Anyway, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. it, it welcome to the stream, boy. OG Mubum coming at we. So he got away from um, he got away from the slums uh, up in Philadelphia, I guess. Like I'm talking like the worst. I'm talking about the ghettos, and he's now in a random bathroom trying to hook up. Uh, what he managed to salvage uh any last bit of uh CRTV, and just find some ox cables, and now here we are managing to miraculously stream this game. <laughs> In the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. It is great to see you guys again, man. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I still warn you though. I don't think I'm probably gonna see anybody around here. What does that mean? Oh, uh, I hope I get some matches in or even a match. This is probably gonna be a short stream, if that's the case. Um, I do need to kind of give you some more content soon as far as different fighting games, because it's not just I play, you know, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, Skullgirls, you know, and I don't even play this game that much, but I, I kind of jumped in at a pretty late time. And I know what you're thinking, oh, but Mark, uh, you know, uh, for free, OG Mubum, free to think free, isn't Melty Blood, like, doesn't it have, like, a sequel that you can play and it's, it's okay? Yeah, I play it if there's no auto combos in it. I I shit you not. I shit you not. <laughs> I shit you not. Um, I would play that game if there was no. Oh 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 oh. We better find a match. I'll probably have one up and running though, just in case. Um. Yeah, the new game. Like I even have it, but guess what? I have it on a PS4. And I'm pretty upset that it plays uh, like they integrated the auto combo system. If you already don't know my stick yet, I hate auto combos. And I think that uh, if you use them, um, I think you have hepatitis. So anyway, what I'm saying is, is I'm tired of being uh, babies. I'm tired of like people trying to babysit me in fighting games because... I think I know how to play a fighting game, damn it, if I'm sitting there doing 360 grabs and all that crap on the ground, and I can do combos in Guilty Gear just fine, and I'm not talking Strive, alright? By the way, I might have a little surprise for you guys uh, pretty soon. You don't know when it's going to happen, but I think that this is what's going to uh, this is what's gonna let uh, my small haven for you, for you, for you children... Under my wing. I think that this is what's going to be the, 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 the day that OG Mubbomb makes everybody freely think freely. Wink, wink. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, get it? Hey, when you the exile of three? I'm kidding. Anyway, but what I'm saying is, is I do have a surprise for you guys. And I'm trying to play 
the patience game so bad. I'm trying to be very patient. Um, with trying to upload this because I can upload it like real soon. But I think this is gonna be one of those videos. I think it's gonna take me off real good. If not, I don't care. I I I just love honestly doing this, and I'm trying to be better at it. Um, the reason why you see me just sitting here, like with nothing going on right now, is that if you didn't read my my post, I. I try to hold on. Okay. Yeah, I try to have a um people who play this game, like this old school Melty Blood. I wanna see if anyone wants to jump in on this and, and, and get some matches in because I know that right now I'm playing a pretty much a it, it's a dead game. It might be a dead game. But if if you tuned in on a New Year's stream, I actually got a couple matches in on some dude playing a, a very corny but broken character. You know. <laughs> hey! Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> hey, taxi! I don't know, I can't do it. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I really do want to get something going here if I don't see anything. And I'll probably just stream some, some more Guilty Gear, some more Blaze Blue, Skullgirls. And oh, or maybe some Left for Dead. Who knows? I always try to have like an established, you know, um, like what the main game is. But you can tell that if things don't go my way, I'll just leave <laughs> and play something else. Other than that, I I try to keep it entertaining. Um. If, if not enough of these emotes will satisfy you, which I know uh, some people don't like it. <laughs> ah, screw them. But if you don't like it, then I get it. But uh, I, I want to uh, have something in front of your screen that's not just, you know, a spazzing out emote. Like a spazzing out avatar of OG Mudbum just like cussing at you. Because, uh, I wonder if anybody even knows where OG Mobum came from. I wonder if anybody knows. <laughs> uh, one guy, I'll never forget, one dude in the comment section actually knew where it came from. But he was more, it was like he was asking, so he wasn't sure himself. But he did answer his own question. I didn't want to give it to him, though, because I like messing with people. And I really do wanted to try to like interact with the guy to see if he picked up on it. But there's only one person out of everything I've done for this channel and for you know for you guys, um, they know where OG Mudbum came came from. He knows, but he had to ask. <laughs> so my hey, OG Mudbum's identi identity has been almost uh, exposed to the public. Man, I hope someone freaking joins. Yeah, anyway, yeah. So, he almost been exposed, man, and I couldn't have that, so I had to play it funny. Other than that, uh, if you're an old-timer, or if you, I guess, remember this face from anywhere, I'll give you a hint. It's from a movie. It's an older movie. And that's all I'm going to say, because I know that's probably enough for people to be like, Oh! <laughs> hey, that's where he's from. <laughs> oh! Hey, when's oh. Guilty Gear Exile Rift 3? Guilty Gear Exile Rift 3? I, I think that game's... I do. I'm not even like expecting that to happen. I think there's never such thing as Guilty Gear Rift 3. Strive has ruined everything, man. People, um... You know... Anyway, I, I really want to give you guys a match or something here. I want to play a real life person. I could play uh uh like the arcade mode, but why would I want to do that? Again, hey, if any of you guys have this game, I'm down to like p put in the, in the in the chat that I insert name here and willing to throw down with that um. Homeless black negro there, bottom right corner. He's spitting too much uh, shit at me, and I don't like it. And I'll be like, I do it out with you. I do it out with you anytime, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> folks. I mean, I don't know what happened on New Year's Day, but I think I'm not gonna ever experience that again. 
It was only that one guy that was on this game. I thought this game was going to have some people still playing it. But I don't know the community like that. If anybody wants to enlighten me about the Melting Blood community, I'm down. I know it's from, like, the, the Fate series, I guess. Like, it's the it's the same world, apparently, as uh, the Fate nonsense. That anime that I will never watch or never get into. Unless some of y'all can tell me something that I don't know. That makes it entertaining. Oh, man, this sucks. I really think we're not going to get anything, folks. I think I just kind of lied to you and said, uh, we're going to play Melty Blood with some people. So how about this? If that's the case, this cat thing is probably going to have to disappear. Wait, what about... Ah! <laughs> Dumb bitch. And we're probably going to have to move on to some real gameplay. That I know is guaranteed to, um... <laughs> be of some use for uh for some action. And yes, for those that don't know, apparently Guilty Gear Exard, which we could try that. Hold on. I'm gonna give it maybe another like five, ten more minutes to see if I'm gonna get a match. I'm gonna create a room. I'm very confident that my internet's good enough to catch anybody in this web. But if I don't get a match in at all, I might maybe play uh, Arcade once, and then I'll leave this game, and then I'll boot up, like, I don't know, Blaze Blue or some, some Guilty Gear or some shit. I never want to play Blaze Blue a lot, because I feel actually, like, hella confident, and I do kind of somewhat enjoy... I love It's a love-hate relationship with how Blaze Blue is, like I said before, where, um, like, some of the characters and just some of the things that I... How I perceive, like, the game to be. Like, if Azrael didn't exist, I wouldn't use him. Because he really is finally a character that I, I would like to actually play with. And not some weeaboo-ass, like, sword art, sword art online. Like, that generation of anime. That type of crap. Like, skinny anime uh, girls with giant honkers. That uh, are very like apparently dainty, dainty like delicate, um, but apparently can beat a, a grown man's ass. And even though I see that in Guilty uh, Blaze Blue, it's just that they still kind of made Azrael to be like he, you know, if you play him right, you can just dance all over these people. And I love beating up on twinks. I love beating up on. <laughs> I love beating up on these skinny anime archetype trope like characters with this giant ass dude i'm sorry i don't know i really want to get a match in i was actually looking forward to playing this because the last time i played i had fun but it was like one guy who used a broken character and even though it was kind of funny i was like i want to actually see what this game is about i really don't want to play uh um that new one though because even though i did it seriously sucks how do I know that the game... How do I know that these players aren't sitting there just throwing auto combos at me? How do I How do I feel in short? Anyway, if I, if I don't get anything, then... Mm, mm, mm. I just wasted my time making that thumbnail and making that video play out the way it does. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I know I'm laughing, but I am a little mad if, uh, you know, I ain't getting none out of this game. I promoted myself for you. You you got promoted through me. Uh, melty melty blood actress actress again. Current, current all right. Oh my god, let's see. Yeah, right. Riveting stream. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just like. It feels kind of... Blaze Blue feels different, man. Um, and it just feels like it's uh, the right kind of game. Honestly, I wish that... I wish that Guilty Gear played like that. Guilty Gear Strive. I wish that... like, Have you noticed that when you knock some people down in that game, if you ever played it, God, God bless your soul if you did. 
Um, if you ever play Strive and sometimes you knock down a person, it's not a hard knockdown. Uh, the guy would just roll sometimes. And that same kind of tech, I guess, it's in Guilty Gear, uh, or it's in Blaze Blue. Like, if you're on the ground and you roll, you can roll forward, you can roll backwards, or you can just roll in that spot. But what I'm saying is, there's, like, multiple types of techs. Like, in Skullgirls, there's a ground tech. That's what I'm trying to mention. It's a, it's a ground tech. Guilty Gear does not have that. But if I'm telling you right now, and for those, for you guys watching right now, listen very, very closely. And you better agree with me, because you know I'm not wrong. If Guilty Gear, Exard, or if, like, the previous Guilty Gears years ago, if they added a ground tech, we could finally... It could finally be like an even like matchup now for any character against all those uh, Okies that plagued Guilty Gear for the longest and still does. I'm talking if you're fighting against Millie Rage and she's over here throwing out that stupid ass tandem top. And starts doing mix-ups on you because she threw a projectile over you. Or if you're fighting against uh, Kai and Exar and he throws out that grinder and throws out that uh, stun edge, that, that projectile where it just hovers over you and he just starts doing shit. I'm telling you right now, for anybody reading this or listening, we need to find a way or I would like for Arc System Works one day to realize that ground techs are where they're at. And that I think that some implication of that would some 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 implementation, I guess that's not the implication, not implication. It, uh, if they implemented that at all, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't be too painful to finally fight against Zato, Melia, Raven, uh, Eno, um, Kum Heyun, like all those characters where they're freaking. They have a projectile that's clearly meant to um, bother you while you're on wake up. You're waking up with things, this projectile that's like got, got five hits to it. You have to block those hits. And then that guy just comes in on you and starts doing mix-ups and or whatever. I feel like that should be like the only thing that can finally make it like somewhat decent to play Guilty Gear for like the people that have never played Guilty Gear before is if you add ground tech. Anyway, as you can tell, I uh, am not getting a match at all. And uh, I'm kind of bummed out. Start standby training. I wish I knew that sooner. I wish I'd known that sooner. I'm pretty... Wait, was that somebody? Holy crap, was that somebody? What the fuck? What was that? No, there was literally somebody. I saw it. I freaking saw it. I freaking, I swear to God. That was someone that just, just that jumped in. I really, I swear, I'm not, I think I'm not crazy. <laughs> Salt Creek. Oh, there he is. Hey, it's one of the OGs. It's one of the OGs. What's up, OG? Hold on, give me a sec. Oh, no. The Steam version of this game is pretty dead. Oh, man. What? Maybe it's kind of consequential that uh, I promote a game so, I guess, buried. <laughs> but I literally did see a... I swear, I thought I did. Right when I hit yes, I want to start training. I really did see, like, a person pop up out of nowhere. Man, I'll just hit you loud. Okay, hold on. Ah! There we go. I don't want this to echo my mic. I finally fixed my mic to where I'm not ear raping you. While you get to hear the sounds of my controller, like clicking and clacking. Anyway. But now, I mean, I guess the game's gonna let me know. I guess that uh, the it started it started up or something. But anyway, let me actually take a chance to look at these characters again, because I forgot what's even going on. But the way it plays, though, man, I'm like, dude, it, I wish this, I wish I knew about this game. 
Am I playing? Oh, Nifty. I don't know what that is, but it seems like a nice person. How are you doing, Nifty? Hey, would you like to not really uh, have your ears blessed? <laughs> if it ever played at all. Because sometimes these emotes, I know by now, they just kind of they cut out halfway through. <laughs> anyway. Nifty, how are you doing? You playing multi blood in the school? Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't go to school anymore. Look at me. I look like a black homeless dude wearing a beanie. I, don't, I think school's been way past me. And I can't even go to school if I have no home, nor parents. Tadashi Sparkle, there he is. Box Boy. <laughs> My password is out of the boat. I got I fucking hate. I hate Guilty Gear music. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive music so bad. Wait, who was that? Bro, that guy looks cool. I mean, Moses, it's an interesting looking game, man. Because this is, again, it's supposed to be the same guys that, uh... That's a little bastard there was beat my ass. It's the same guys that made that Fate series or whatever, and that this used to be apparently a visual novel or some sort. Anyway. But, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm just waiting on someone to play, because I didn't know. I wish more games did this. I thought Get Guilty Gear was the only one that did it, where you can start a training mode up. You can start a training mode up, and, like, you just wait for people. Oh, he's got that black heart teleport from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Ugh, ew, ew. <laughs> but he looks cool, though. Oh, crap, he looks cool. <laughs> oh, crap. That's wild. <laughs> no, I'm not playing Melty Blood in the school, though. I don't know what that means. It's supposed to mean something, but I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing it right now, I guess. But I want to mash up with somebody, if you know what I mean. Because I, I clearly was expecting someone to play. But, um, Salt Creek is letting me know that the game's dead. So I guess, um, this was a, a bad idea. I should have, I guess, did research. But I like jumping in on games that are, like, um, that I don't know anything about. I like jumping in on games like that. Yeah, I like the way this game feels because I remember playing it at first. I didn't know you can actually, uh... You know how most games go, like, light, medium, heavy? Which, that's the heavy. <laughs> like, that's always, like, the pattern you go. You can never go backwards. Well, I didn't know. Or well, some games you can, like Guilty Gear. But for very rare occasions. But I did not know that, um, you can go heavy... Medium light. <laughs> That's very interesting. And I'm still kind of like playing it like it's Guilty Gear. Like, because if you use medium standing and then medium crouch, that works too. But I did not know that you can, like. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I was trying to say it before, man. I wish that this game. I wish I knew about it when I was growing up, man. I love fighting games, but I love games that feel, like, hyperactive. Just jump cancels. Uh, dude, there's no one playing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what's that? Oh! 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 Ah, damn, boy, did you see that? Gosh, damn, look at all that dog I wish, I wish I knew about this game earlier then, man, because, seriously, I, uh... I um I love playing games like this where it feels so uh high fi hyper hyper action like where you can like what do super jump and do air dashes and you just do combos off of just mashing buttons around cuz I think I think it's welcoming to people to just play like that instead of playing Street Fighter where everything is grounded footies and you know people spamming the obvious moves that work whether it be Blanca rolling towards you like an asshole or Ryu in Street Fighter 4 with his projectiles. 
Anyway, no, nah, that's really cool. Oh, what's that? Man, I really am mad though. Like, like this game really feels good when I first played it. But I'm not getting a match at all. Hold on, I know I do this. Mm, 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 this sucks, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm not getting a real life personal play. Hey, when you the DXRF3? I like knowing I'm fighting against someone real. Like, if I get my ass beat, it, it's the fact that I, like, you know. It's the fact that, uh. You know, this is a much older game, so any of the bullcrap that is beating my ass, it's, a, it's something that feels fair and square. You know, older games don't have that kind of leniency on the input. You know, like, if you try to, um, do any kind of inputs and you're just half-assedly doing it, older games don't care. It's, you, you're not gonna pull out, you're not gonna pull that move off. Hold on, Salt Creek said, There's a free fan-made community edition of this game, which is considered the best way to play and has a bit of more lively player base. You're more likely to find a match there. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know, I guess. <laughs> I got this game on Steam. And I thought that this was the only game that you can play. Well, <clears throat> no matter how much I feel the dead air, you know, between my talks here and there on this stream, I'm going to tell you right now, this is more dead. Rest in peace. Black screen. <laughs> Gosh damn, look at all that. Dog okay. well, that would have been nice to know, I guess. If there was a fan made game, then shit. Let's uh let's hop on Guilty Gear, I guess. Can I? Let's hop on Guilty Gear and someone please give me a topic to cover. <laughs> or else you're gonna have a pretty slow stream. Yes, sir. I opened it. Wait, what the fuck? Give me a sec. Okay, I guess Steam is telling me that I gotta update something, I guess. Three minutes. Well, how you guys doing? <laughs> Oh man. What the What the What's that? What's that? <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh, well, yeah. Sorry to destroy your eardrums, folks, but I I'm trying to give you something to work with here. But anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> um, I wish that game knew. I wish I knew that game existed, dude. I thought, like, only a few anime games like that existed, and I'm pretty upset that, uh, I guess when I found out about it some time ago, I'm like, oh, wow, this looks good. Ugh. I guess it's because it's so niche, like, it's so, like, you know, the anime is so, weird, whatever. Hey! Boss Theory, one of the other, it's, he's one of the OGs. He's one of the, uh, uh, the, he's, he's a diehard by blood. He's, he dropped some blood for me if he could. That's a, that's the realest OG. What are my favorite old games, dude? Um, uh, how old are we talking? Mischief Maker? Oh! Mischief Makers? 
Oh, are, are you talking that old? Ah, dude. If you're talking that old of of gaming, then I pfft. Mischief Makers was on a th- on the n- Nintendo sixty four, dude. Yeah, Mischief Makers was on the Nintendo sixty four. I remember that game, but dude, I uh, I wouldn't say it was my favorite game, but it's a very unique game. I enjoy watching family play it. No limits on on how old. Okay. <laughs> what was my favorite game? <laughs> Man, that's tough. There's, they're all good. There's a lot of old good games. I like Battlefield. I like Battlefield a lot growing up. Battlefield uh, Bad Company was the first game that got me hooked. I never played Battlefield 2. Everyone talks about Battlefield 2 because they're, they're, those are one of the, the real fans, I guess. But Battlefield Bad Company and then... You know the sequel, and then Battlefield Three. Oh man, I can go on. I can go on. That that's not the only game, is what I'm saying. Because I really don't have. Because if like from the PS2, there really isn't a game that I truly remember that uh, I was that hooked on. Because there was a lot of good games on the PS2. It really were, and I'm actually stumped on the till what I can tell you because, um, like I can say like, there was one like one game. That uh, I I I was very fascinated by as a kid, but I never played too much of because you know it was a a, a kid playing fighting games. Yeah, it was. I didn't know shit. It was uh, Capcom versus SNK, uh, SNK two, both of them. Those two games were very fascinating to me when I was growing up, and um. Because there were so many characters, for what it was, for what it was worth. Oh, when did you say why? Oh, Unless you're talking about Battlefield, Battlefield is amazing. If you're asking why for that, it was because. Well, let me boot this game up. Battlefield, um, Bad Company was such a good game because of the sound, because of the uh. Hold on, let me hook this up to where you're actually seeing gameplay of Guilty Gear and not just a black screen. I have to, like, adjust. Um, oh boy. Give me a sec. Battlefield was a good game because of the sound, because of the graphics, because I think that was, like, the top... That was the best I've seen a game on the 360 or the PS3, I guess. There we go. Can you hear the game? Let's see. I, I gotta check some again. Let me turn this. Okay. That should work. Alright, let's do it. Let's see if I get any games in. Games in. Um... I think Battlefield uh, Bad Company, the Battlefield series, every time they released a game, it was like, it felt like the the game was giving you, like, the most, like, the maximum output that a PS3 or a 360 could give you. It was like, if you really want to drive through the 360 and a PS3 to, like, the dirt, like, this game better freaking work. This game is going to work your ass so hard. We've got a new like the way the graphics, the the frame rate, everything. I think that they went incredibly hard um, in the Battlefield games. The game was so was so uh, big. Oh boy, I'm finding a bad man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, Battlefield was such a big game. Like for Battlefield Three, you had to have a separate disc just to install the game like and its graphics like half the graphics so that's what I remember but I think I thought that Battlefield Bad Company the Battlefield series in general was way ahead of its time when I first played Bad Company um, but, but Mar- uh, Capcom versus SNK to me was such a fascinating game because the music was awesome it was like I guess one of the most it was a fighting game that I was very I loved every, the production of that game just kind of like 
you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Like, there was a lot of characters in that game, man. And, um... There was a lot of characters. And there was just so much that I felt like you could learn and do. In that game. Alright, anyway, but yeah, uh, it was like one of the biggest fighting games, to be honest, wasn't it? It was like one of the biggest fighting games in the world, where like, damn, these people put in a lot of time and effort into like the, uh, the sprites, the music, the, the, you know, just the gameplay itself. It was very customizable, the gameplay. They went hard, just like Marvel's Capcom 2, man, which is another game that I like growing up, man. Um, you know, I think that game right there I like the most, especially because... Oh, I'm pissed off. Um, I like Marvel 2, especially because um, I had the most time to learn fighting games through that game. And I've had the opportunity to, to bond with family that way. Like, I have a brother that I bonded with very deeply because of uh, Marvel's Capcom 2. And he taught me how to play games, fighting games, which is what you see now is just me, like, remembering what he taught me. Like, over half the time. I'm serious. So... Yeah, so that game, I want to say Marvel's Capcom 2 is the game for me to say is, like, my favorite, like, or, like, the game of all time, I guess. The best game of all time. But there's so many good games growing up, man. I don't know, dude. But I, I, I guess I found out that I'm a, a fighting gamer, you know? Oh, my God. I can't stand Batman, dude. So, Batman, like, the way I, he kept crossing me up, because it's kind of the way how he plays. Don't get me wrong, like, yes, I guess you gotta have more than one character that can teleport like this. But, Batman, um, what I don't like about him is that it's hard to tell what his attacks look like. A lot of his attacks, his normals and everything, it's really hard to tell what it is. Like, I could tell that was a dust. This crouching dust, that's heavy slash. But for the most part, man, like, just still, his attacks look so weird. And, um, I hate fighting Batman because he's just... He's not like a normal body to me that you can see. What's going on? Like, that move right there. Like, he could just do that to you at any point in time. But a lot of his attacks just look so um, weird looking. Like he literally is a weird character. Like they played, they played the whole when they made Batman, Batman for who he is in the Guilty Gear universe. Fee's definitely up there. You want to talk weird? The game is known for being weird, having weird characters. He's up there, like no brainer. That and Zappa. But he's literally so weird that you can't even tell what he's doing to you. It's hard to tell. I know, I, like, I know his moves, but still, like, dealing with it, like, face to face, instead of being a one uh, person playing for Batman, um, it's frustrating, actually. It's frustrating to deal with Batman. Anyway, plus it's been a minute since I played, so I'm just warming up. I'm not really that mad. Of course, again, like, this was what I was expecting. Again, when I fight against a bad man, he, uh, can do a lot of crap. Like, him teleporting is because if you hit his, uh, I think it's forward heavy slash. No, no, no. If you, if you hit his, if you hit him while he's dashing, like, running towards you, 
his dash is kind of like um like Street Fighter where it's just like a simple sidestep but if you try to touch him during that he, he teleports he crosses you up and that's what you saw Annoying. The best way to learn how to beat a character is to practice. Yeah, you're absolutely true, dude. <laughs> I mean, I've played this game so much that yes, I kind of know how what he's doing. But it's still just something that I'm not used to seeing at the end of the day. <laughs> Like, I can anticipate most of people's attacks, but this guy's attacks look, like, the same sometimes, because his body just... is like, they animated some of his, like, the... He's, like, when he swipes his arms around and stuff, like, they look the same to me. I don't know. It's just annoying to kind of even think about right now, because... And also, right now, it's uh, roll, rollback. I just really not realize that. This game got rollback. I knew this before, right? Like I said earlier in the stream. Hey, you know. Yeah, like this game's got rollback, so um, I'm I'm right now actually playing the the type of netco that everybody loves, you know, to brag about. They're playing. You got me. Alright. Back dash. Come on, back dash. I'll be this. Oh, of course it ain't gonna work. Fuck you. Woo! Yeah, Batman's got a lot of moves that cause chip damage and are very, like, just constantly just hit you, hit on you. Um, that's the thing about Batman. Ah! Dude, Batman is literally, like, he's a scary dude. He's a spooky, like, creepy dude. Like, he fits every, almost every avenue of what makes a Guilty Gear character weird. Dude, like, he, he fits it very well. I was trying to burst. I thought I could have had him right then there. But yeah, Batman's frustrated, man. He always will be with me. Like that. Okay. I thought he was going to jump. And plus he's a good, he's a fast learner too. I need to be a fast learner. See, that was a really good, uh, that was a good uh, mix up there. <clears throat> the only move that I finally took away from what he was doing was that move that got me was a jumping dust. And it's the same properties as gently jumping on you with their stupid, like, hop kick. Anyway. <clears throat> Hey, when's you to be exile of three? Ah! Come on! Uh, 
I bet he just wanted to take that hit. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm gonna lose. Mm, sorry, I'm quiet right now, but. If there's any other games I can think of right now as I'm fighting the game. But that I really, really liked growing up, then that's all. But I think I kind of said it. Oh my god. I, I'm gonna perfect him twice. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was jumping and I was trying to jump away. You fu And he starts playing like a cornball. Like, he's so freaking gay. Like, Batman has some really good ways to just keep you also out of range, too. So, really, it's just knowing what to deal with. I, I have to remember his attacks again, but I do remember him slightly. Just for the most part, though, Batman is just frustrating because... Th that's another thing about him. The biggest thing that I actually now remember what made me frustrated was dealing with Batman is that there's not truly an opening for this guy. There really isn't. Like, a lot of the moves that you see he's him doing right now, like, there's no way you can just punish him. Like, if I did my pile bunker that everybody knows that kicks ass, if I did that punch, I'm open as shit. Like, you can do whatever you want to me. But this guy over here is just doing all this crap, and he can just sit there and just keep spamming these attacks. And I'm over here just taking it like I'm just, like, I don't know how to handle it. But no, seriously, if you see me try to do anything to follow up on this guy, most of the time, I'm not even going to land whatever I can on him. Because he's very safe on, like, a lot of his normals. Granted, most characters in this game are like that. You have to actually kind of play Guilty Gear a little differently compared to most, like, fighting games where you, you're you dealing with, um... Uh, like you're dealing with moves that you can punish off of. There's actually not a lot of moves that people have all together. Like I tried to do super right there, but of course I couldn't do it. <sighs> But no, I'm saying like a lot of characters in this game don't have uh, attacks that you can really punish off of. So you have to keep that in mind um, for most of the stuff like that happens in this game. You just really, really, it's about being aggressive. Seriously. Alright. Like, I waited too late. And even if he came right back down, if I still felt like I like timed it better, he probably would have blocked it. You can't hit him right in that spot, but he's just a huge hurt botch right there. I gotta be more clever with my mix ups. Yeah, good job. You chip damage me, Dragon. You need better mixes to keep pressure on Batman. He's used to you. And that's what I'm saying. <laughs>
That's what I'm saying. No one just also put Batman plays so weird. You can't just use him. Batman plays uh different. He's kinda like Coom. He's kinda like uh Slayer. He doesn't play uh conventionally. Like when he does all the stuff that you see him doing. He has to kind of play like on a different spectrum, but still. This dude's annoying. Um But he's good. No one again just plays Batman like that. There's actually a few list of characters that I can tell you from experience. That if you see someone use it, they're actually good with it. I try to freaking dash. I think he just did like a hot on me. Okay. All right, man. I am actually getting riled up. Woo! I'm getting mad because I was like, I hate having that feeling of I should have done that, like hindsight, what you call it? Because I really want to try to convince you guys that I try to faultless defense. I try to waste meter to save my ass. Heaven or Let's rock. Jump, bitch. Jump, bitch. I'm mad now. It's not over yet. Now look at him. He's like, yeah, you're going to do that to me again? I'm starting mashing buttons now. <laughs> oh, look at him. He tried to back away. He knew. He knew. He knew I was going to get air grab him. All right, now this guy's. These guys are really good. He really is. But I got tired of being danced on, so I wanted to do that to him. And of course, even though I do all that, I still get like mocked. So, man, I'm, I just I really hate fighting him. <laughs> I'm really pissed. I, mm, I'm actually mad. Whatever. Whatever. Heaven or hell. Let's see what else you can do. Well, I knew you was going to do that. Oh, 
That's the same shit, four heavy slabs. Which, by the way, used to not be a multi-hitting move. This is just a bad matchup overall. It's a bad matchup for Slay. It's one of those moments... It's one of those moments that, uh... You can, it's, it's, Slayer has a lot of counters, actually. He hits hard. Oh, you want to return to the room? I guess I'm not good enough. Uh, he, he hits really hard. Oh, okay, and he's just gone like that. Like, I'm just like, okay. I have my fill of beating on your sorry monkey ass. I'm just gonna leave. All right, whatever. I want at least one match. That's all I wanted, really. I'm trying to kind of like really uh, round myself out more. Like say, hey, I, I know I'm not the greatest here, but I know that I'm not horrible. Can you, can I get one match out of you? Like I'm not asking you to go easy. I just know by chance, one out of ten chances I can get a match. Cause that's what it felt like. It felt like I had like one out of ten, ten like opportunity right there to just finally whoop on him, and you know he just ups and leaves. I guess it wasn't good enough competition for him, but it's really lame that uh, I had to deal with the bet, man. Like the first time I played through this game, I don't know, man. I am just riled up because you know I can't stop at a round being my victory anymore. I'm out of here. Batman, uh, look, like Slayer has a lot of counter picks. Slayer is literally low, like almost low tier. He's not the greatest character. He's just, he fits like a glove to me so bad when I play this game in particular. Um, honestly, which is why I never stopped playing him. But yeah, Slayer, uh, doesn't really have a lot going for him. Oh, the room's full. Everybody's hopping in on this whole. Ooh, man, it's GG. I have rollback netcode finally. We now I can show you how good I really am. Like I get it, right? I'm not saying that you're lame for finally showing up for when netcode is right here, but I just think that again. Uh, he perfected me three three times. Yeah, like I said, I think that Batman is just so damn freaking annoying for Slayer. It's not fun. You saw why I groaned why I saw that I'm fighting against a Batman. I groaned, dude. Like this Sin better win because I'd rather fight Sin than Soul Bad Guy. You know, Soul Sin has a higher damage output on average. Than Soul, but Soul is just as annoying as Batman because a lot of the attacks in this game are still very safe as hell. Um, he has a lot of attacks that are safe as hell on Black or just what no matter what you do. Don't I wish he didn't even remind me that. I wish he didn't remind me that he perfected me three times, as if I'm just that much of a loser. That's some bullshit, dude. Whatever. I still love this game, but I I. I I know that I kind of peaked with Slayer for a while, though, but there are some moves that I was doing that was genius. Like, if I was going to sit there and just constantly throw this guy out because he wasn't expecting it, because he really is kind of like, if you finally do something different to a, an opponent for once, if you finally do something different to someone, like your attacks and shit, all of a sudden, you know, they will have to be like, wow, and they'll try to adapt. And then whatever was the first thing that you did, whatever was the, it was, the first thing you did to him that he started trying to pick up on, you have to do that again. So you have to put your first move on the back burner, right? 
Is everybody doing rematches? I'm not even gonna get a match in, honestly. Hold on. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. Yeah, like, whatever, like, motion and mix-ups that I did to him the first try, now I have to put that to the side and wait to try to trick him with that later. So, yeah, like, I, I, I know I'm not doing a whole lot with Slayer. I'll be honest with you, I know I'm not that good of a Slayer because I'm not using all of his tools. But still, I'm not that terrible. Like, I don't even feel right, man, me just playing somebody else. I want to fight that Batman some more. I really do. I want this to be a, uh... You know, like a stream where I can, like, show up. That Batman for once. Ah, he's got the dust loops. He's got the dust loops. I dropped it. <laughs> dropped it. I really am used to playing delay base netco delay base because there is a very huge difference when you try to like press and time certain attacks. Yeah, um, I'm used to playing delay base because when you do the dust uh, combo in the corner with Slayer, I, I always have that feeling of knowing when the time that my punch is just right. But, uh, now it's well back, so I have to actually be like, it feels like I'm playing right next to you. And by the way, so far, maybe it's my internet all of a sudden being wired, but all of a sudden, though, it really does feel like that this robot netcode, it, it feels good. I don't see any weird stuttering. I don't really see any weird crap in it. You know, they did a pretty good job uh, fixing this uh, rollback up. Now, if they can fix their freaking uh, so-called Strive uh, R code uh, leak, like, you know, those hackers. <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard about that, but yes, you can't even play Strive right now normally because you got a bunch of hackers, like, crashing games because... Uh, Yeah, you got a lot of uh, hackers uh, in Strive right now crashing other players' games because once they have your R code, once they have that, then if they simply change it, the name of your R code, like your profile name, which is part of it, if they change it, then that's what makes the game crash. So Strive is having a pretty hard time right now. But there's damage control, uh, trying to make everybody be able to play the game again normally without hackers, you know, ruining their fun. But the issue with that, I think, is maybe it's because it's crossplay now. Maybe it's because um, they added a feature that has less of a firewall or whatever it is that's making these hackers breach their game now. <laughs> I was about to mount that face in. I was about to pound that face in with the power bunker, dude. You're gonna be a mesh. You're gonna be a messed up face. <laughs> you gonna be so messed up. You be messed up face. What the fuck? What the heck just happened? Uh oh! Terminating due to an online connection error. Gosh damn! Look at all that. Whatever, dude. I mean, look, I'm not, like, bitter or anything. I just am, I am kind of like, all right, let me get my match back in, and then the game crashes. Whatever. Anyway, 
And we feel the DXRF3. Anyway, yeah, so let's see if we can find some other match um, that we can find oh. in here and uh, try to vo do some work in. No! I'm spectating! Now I'm mad. Ah, this is so much better to listen to, even though it's May. It's so much better to listen to her song than anything before Strive. These people try way too hard to try to act like that that song from Strive. I wanna be you. Like it's is clearly far from the theme of metal and rock. Like completely, and yet these people try so hard to unironically, um, unironically, uh, favorite that song. Like, just completely put it on the pedestal as this is the pinnacle of Guilty Gear music. It's like so stupid. Axel, low, where, 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 where's Axel? See Axel. Unless you want me to play with Axel or something, I don't know. Is everybody doing rematches? Ugh, my gosh. Good then. Talk about PS5 being too. I need to catch up on these super chats or these this <laughs> super chat. I need to uh, catch up on these chats. Axel, the British fry. Yeah, so you're going fine, man. Just have fun. Uh, good to talk about PS5 being a terrible next gen. <laughs> Dude. If you're on a PS5 right now, raise your hand so I can talk shit to you. Look at him. He's like, finally, I get a match in. I know, right? So did I. That makes two of us. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and beat this guy's ass in. Dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. Let's <laughs> Alrighty. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Dumb bitch. Alright, anyway, uh, let's see uh, the Italian food hunter, food hater vampire. Ah, uh, I get what you mean. Hey, he's talking to you. He's asking if you like, um. Wait, what the heck? What's wrong with my thing? Give me a sec. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Alright, here we go. My controller went dead! You bitch! <laughs> That was pretty funny. Yeah, my controller went dead for a second. I'm dead serious. Yeah, my controller died for a second. Tadashi, he's talking to you. Do you like Axel? You better say yes right now in the chat. You better say yes or bad things will happen. Mark my words. And I ain't gonna tell you what it is. Yeah, my controller died. I do not know how. Also, by the way, I actually wanted to get into playing um, Sin when I first played this game. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah, Sen's a fun character to actually play. I shit you not. I should play him if I wanted to do it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, shut up, Bob. Why are you telling him to shut up? He was asking a question. You gotta be rude. You ain't gotta be rude. Why are you getting all upset? Who, who's the one that spouts the most, uh, you know, who round, who, who gives the most round of applause for Axel Lowe? You literally say in the comment section with like five exclamation points, Axel Lowe! So, yeah, like, what, 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 why are you getting upset? Man, I really want to play that Batman, dude. I'm mad. I feel like I'm like ready to take him on again. I tell you what, yeah. If I uh, let's see, I try to you know, change it up a little bit. I might play. Oh, nice, nice run cancer. Yeah, I might change it up, and I might play a different game. I know I'm giving you Guilty Gear, but I might change it up every so often just to keep you on your toes. I'm not gonna just play Guilty Gear all day, all night. <laughs> you mad, Tadashi? You mad? Damn, we're going back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, PS5, PS5, right? <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay. He's being serious. The PS5, um, is a freaking joke. If you own a PS5 right now, I literally feel like I want to laugh at you. But only because it's not your character, it's just that it, the PS5. All you're literally playing is a much more beef, like beefed up PS like four. Like, dude, just go back to playing the PS4, dude. You're really not missing much when you when you buy a six hundred, seven hundred dollar console, and then you're playing literally the same games. In fact, the PS5 talks so big about. The PS5 talks so big about, um... Dumb bitch. Yeah, that's right, take it. <laughs> yeah, the PS5, the biggest thing that was like a red flag when it first came out was the fact that they were talking very big about the fact that, um... You could play PS4 games on it. And they play better. <gasps> Whoa! Right? Okay, this dude is now bullying me. Me? Yeah. Dude, look, he simply asked a question. Tadashi, you love Axel? And you screamed Axel low. And then you told him to shut up. Like, dude, are you, are you, what, what, what are you on right now, man? Like, honest question, what are you on right now? Think about what you, think about what. The exchange was between you and, and Boss Theory. You screamed Axel Low like you usually do, right? You usually do. And then he says, man, Tadashi, you really love Axel Low, don't you? 
you even say it one more time, and then you try to mention Slayer. I, you know, Slayer's cool. He's the greatest. He's the greatest. Ain't that right, Slayer? Ain't, ain't he's the greatest. Uh, yeah, uh, then you tell him to shut up. So what? What is he to shut up about? I literally was just like, hey. You might want to answer his question. Like, just sit there and say, I don't know. Yes, I love Max Axel Low. What, you got a problem with it? I don't know. Say something to show that you answered the question. Because if you just randomly say Axel Low all over the place, but then, you know, someone asks you, you like Axel Low, like, you really do talk about him a lot. It, it's just, what is it? That you have with Axel Lowe. What what is it that you that you're so obsessed with him about? So you told him to shut up though. Why? What is it is are, are people not allowed to uh ask what you like when you verbally and audibly and obviously talk about him a lot? Are people not allowed to ask that question? Man, you really love ice cream, don't you? Shut up! Why you talk about freaking, you know, Neapolitan ice cream flavor ice cream like 24-7. Oh, this guy beat me. So, that's all it is. It's just like, hey, let's just kind of like reassure ourselves. So, to Dash and Sparkle, you really like Axel Lowe, don't you? You know what I mean? Just to make sure that you're just not like crazy or something or unhinged. I'm not saying that you are, it's just that you really like Axel Lowe. I get it. But why are you going to be so defensive and very uh, antagonistic over... Um, a question. Boss Theory don't know you that well, man. Hell, even I don't sometimes. <laughs> I want to beat him with the insta kill. No! Sorry for screaming, guys. Anyway, all right, man. I gotta read this. <laughs> yes, all of Axelo, but I bet my kidneys that probably will he will bully me for answering that. You forgot the word he. Anyway, dude, what if he isn't gonna bully you? Why are you assuming so much that you know people are bullying you for asking if you like Axelo so much because you clearly, you clearly like just. Literally, like at random occasions, just sit there and say, "Axel so Low for no reason." He ain't making no sense, dude. I bet my lungs and kidneys that may happen. So, okay, if you want this to be a real bet, then are you saying that you're going to willing you're willing to give up the most essential like? most essential organs in your body especially when it comes to breathing just because you think you know that boss theory is gonna pick on you because you like a character who cares so that's just awful you you react and weird uh, man you act and strange <laughs> now i'm gonna attack axel relentlessly look man well now look what you did now you're gonna give him a reason to to, to pick on you because now we're trying to get a reaction out of you truthfully that is just like, is this guy actually upset that I asked if he liked Axel Loaf? Man, this guy's really trying to sin, but he ain't that good. Oh my gosh. Well, another connection timeout. I think this is a good stopping point, honestly, for Guilty Gear. Not that I don't, I'm, I'm mad or anything about playing it, but I am trying to just change it up a little bit for you guys and give you some some more games that I got in my inventory. 
No, dude, seriously, I actually am like, yo, Tadashi, what's going on here, man? Why are you, why are you being so, uh, why are you being so difficult right now? What's gotten into you, dude? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Do you, do you want to talk about it, man? <laughs> okay, I actually am curious to know what's going on right now. Usually it kicks you out right away, but it says please wait. I'm gonna give it another 20 seconds, and if I don't see anything, I'm moving on. <laughs> now I'm going to attack relentlessly. Dude, I mean, well, I don't know, man. That's just part. There you go. Alright. Well, I think this is a good fair share of Guilty Gear. And I kind of feel like I'm I'm hankering I'm I'm having a, a hunger for another fighting game. Bam! Like that. So let's see what we got. Uh, maybe Blaze Blue or something like that, and I'd be done. Actually, actually, why am I tempted to play that game? Why am I so tempted to play that game? I should have played that on New Year's. Axel <laughs> 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 <coughs> <coughs> players should be in prison. Axel players can't boil water. Oh, give me a sec. I'm about to. <coughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, I got the hiccups now. <laughs> oh boy, that hurt so bad. Oh, That's so funny, dude. I actually, I wish that uh, I knew about that game. Oh, I'm talking about Dungeon Fighters. I'm not gonna play that game because the game is just so. Long. I'll probably play it later. Yeah, I'll play that game later. It ain't worth to try to play it now. Sorry, I'm trying to get this thing to work. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was laughing because it Axel players should be put in prison. Axel players can't boil water. <laughs> That is so funny. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There's Azriel. He's letting you know. I, I put so much time in that image, and I feel like it should never go to waste. But I will try to lower it some more. No, not that. Stupid ass. All right. Give me a sec, guys. My 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 setup has got to be just right. Screw it! All right, let's see if anyone's playing. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna be on for too long. Because after this, I really am trying to grind my feet into the dirt with these videos I'm about to put out soon, guys. There's one video I really would like to hold out on for a while, but there is one I want to make. You might be familiar with it, or at least kind of familiar with the topic, if you're aware of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you have a PS5, you seriously um, need help. Because long story short, you're just getting a more beefed up PS4. Like... If you want to get a PS4 and it's just better, I guess, then, I mean, if you want to, sure. There you go. Boom. You got a, you got a PS4. Woohoo! Right? <clears throat> yeah, like you got a, you got a PS4 and um. I'm trying to figure out how to ready up. I forgot how to do it. No.
I actually forgot how to ready up. <laughs> like, ready up! Give me a sec. Anyway, like, what I'm saying is, yeah, you're just getting a more beef to PS4. Woohoo. Now, was it worth $700, though? If you're just gonna play another freaking, like... If you're gonna play the same game again, but you have, like... a, You have PlayStation 4 games, and you're just now finally experiencing 60 frames per second, I guess, if, if that's what you want. Again, why is it that you... That's what you... I really think that it's stupid that people uh, are paying money, hard-earned money. Oh my gosh, come on. Damn, that's all I want. I just want to fight. I just want to freaking fight. I don't care about this anime setup, your, your, your room. I don't care about that gay ass crap. But yeah, you're just getting a much better, like, PS4, I guess. But you're not getting the full caliber that the PS5 has been bragging about, you know, since we got announcements of it. Because PS4 is already a very, like, high caliber console. And you're only telling me that you're just going to make it as good, slightly better than a PS4? Slightly. It's a waste of time. Anyway. Oh, shit! Oh! I wasn't trying to taunt. I forgot that's the taunt button. You're not supposed to press that. <laughs> There's no benefit to it at all. <clears throat> I bought a burger for $5. I paid the cashier $10. He gave me $2 and a pine cone as change. I asked why, and he said, sorry, man. I play Axel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being beat. I'm getting beat because I read that comment. Now I'm, I'm getting beat. Thanks a lot, boss. Now I'm going to lose. Oh, never mind. I won. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 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 look at all that. Oh, that <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I bought a burger for five dollars. I paid a cash in ten, and then he gave me two thousand a pie cone. Sorry, man. I play Axel. Look what you done to Dashi. Now you're gonna get dumped on. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Hey, is this too quiet? I hope not. Let's see. But at the same time, I don't want this to be too loud. But I really, really don't want this to pick up my, 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 my microphone. Come on. <laughs> they play Axel, that's why I beat him. Okay, I got it. Oh, 
you'll kill me there, huh? And I killed you right there. <laughs> she tried to do, I guess, like Blaze Blues equivalent to an instant kill, and I was like, nope. Oh no, you gonna beat me. You gonna beat me! Oh no! Yeah, it beat me. I'm sorry, guys. I failed! Tadashi uh, uh, went to get a new set of lungs and. <laughs> uh, Tadashi went to get a new set of lungs and kidneys. I hope not. In fact, boss, I think you scared off my viewership. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know, man, but he's always like that. He'll get over it, hopefully. The cross up. Come on. <laughs> oh, she beat me. What the fuck? I'm mad. Okay. Yeah, eat that earth that I just lifted up with my bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, boss says something else. Oh shit! Mm. Oh! <laughs> he took too much damage from that her, her drive skill, whatever the hell it is. Hold on, my boss said, "Imagine making fun of Axel for players being enough to leave his fighting game." <laughs> anyway, hey, who wants to throw it down? Yeah, I'm getting tired. Just another myriad of games I'm playing, huh? I got a few more matches in me, and I'll go. Oh, he's picking Susan new. He's got. He's picking Susan. No, Susan, no. <laughs> I don't know what's going on to Dashy Spark. I hope he's still here, and I hope he ain't like you know. Upset, upset. But I'm not gonna. No one should apologize for simply asking if you like Axel Low because you wear the T-shirt, you have ice cream comb, and you have a you have a flag saying "I love Axel Low" all together. So how are we supposed to react? Just react, you know? 
Come, bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wanna make a fighting video, I guess, with like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear characters. But I wanna put like the most powerful characters in, 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 in like in each fight. <laughs> like Slayer versus Azrael, or like Slayer versus Suzanu. Terumi, whatever. I don't know, because it's, it's part of what I wanna do in the future uh, this year, like make. Like I guess like a small series that can like the, with the story validating me making sprites like duke it out like I did with Makoto versus Azrael, but this time I'm using you know again completely separate IPs fight each other. I still want to do that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Damn, boss, you're just losing it, dude. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm glad to have y'all watching, man. I'm gonna give you new content too, guys. But let me just uh, stream for a second. <laughs> hey, settle down, okay? Don't worry, Slayer. I, I know it's ain't Guilty Gear. I'm not betraying. I'm not cheating on you, I swear. Ah! Anyway. Oh, Don't bitch! Damn, boy! Oh my gosh, I even do, you can even hear him doing the super, he's like, and I'm like, yeah, that's right, and that didn't work. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, you know what I want to do on my way out of the stream? I want to see if there's even a few matches with Melty Blood, the Steam version, because I didn't know there was more than one. Man, this guy will let this 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 intro play out all day. Oh, never mind. I took that back. He actually <laughs> ain't got time for that.
I think I got your ass. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I know I'm all over the. Wait, does he want to go again? Please select your character. No, I'm just watching. Yeah, I'm just watching. How do I watch this crap? Who cares about you weeaboos? Only real men win and play this game. <laughs> but anyway, my, my last trip should be checking out the city. If we got anything going on for... Melty Blood! Oh, fuck this spectator. Spectator mode. And I'm just gonna close this out. I'm actually getting close to ending this because I got things to do uh, in a little bit. Beside stream. But I appreciate you guys, man. I really do. OG Mob Bomb appreciates it too. Ain't there my OG Mob Bomb? <laughs> I really appreciate it. You, you won't be old. You won't give me nothing out to do about it. He appreciates it. <clears throat> thoughts, on, thoughts on fighting game YouTubers? Popular ones? Dude, to be honest with you, I'm sorry. I really don't care. I don't care too much about him. I guess the only one I care about is the one that's like dancing in that corner right there. But that's because he's just funny. <laughs> Ain't that right, Lotus guy? He can't talk right now. Uh, the maybe in the next few streams, I'll patch up more things to witness in this <laughs> setup where you watch Skullgirl characters just walk across and Asriel. Not being there. <laughs> Soul dancing and anyway. Um but seriously, that's like the only guy I care about, honestly, because he's just entertaining. Last I heard he got banned from YouTube again. As if that's new. <laughs> Dude's always getting banned, man, because people just can't take a joke. Either people can't take a joke or people like just really don't understand. Like low tier God and why he does what he does, because you really do have to kind of like be. I guess honestly, you have to kind of be meta, meta, or just kind of think very smartly about something. Where what if low tier God purposely is just being a uh, a bully? I guess an online bully. <laughs> but everybody else, man, like. I don't really care too much for it because I think everybody's a freaking chill. There's not one person really that I can think of. Maybe a few. Even I don't know their names like that. And I don't even know their whole history. I've just seen a few like fights with them where, you know, they were known for being. Oh, man, I'm stupid. I forgot to set this up. Give me a sec, guys. I thought that the game was on, but it's not. Like, I got it on screen. There we go. So, what I'm saying is, is, uh, like, yeah, I'll hear about, like, yeah, this is what this guy was known for. Like, 
hey, uh, what's that one dude? Uh, Majin Obama or some crap like that? I forgot his name. But it's Majin something, Majin Boo. And he was like the only American like tournament player uh, who played King. And he wasn't like playing Tekken like he was playing like every other Asian or retard that just kind of like Tekken has his own kind of footsies where you just back in and back out, back in and back out with like a move. And it just back away, try to play it safe. It's really lame because unfortunately the game entirely just just how the characters move. And they just pick the only safest move they got. And then once they know they got a confirmation, they just do a combo. And that's it. It's pretty lame. Well, this guy, whatever his name was, who used Kang was not... He didn't... Not only did he not play like that, this dude was so legendary that he used almost every asset of Kang in the game. King probably having, like, the most moves in, like, Tekken. Or one of the guys with the most moves in Tekken. He was using almost every single, like, mechanic that he had. And almost won. That's, like, one of the few characters I know. The few people I know. But everybody else, man. Like, anytime I see a guy that's, like, you know, a YouTuber. Like, I kind of, like, at least know what's going on for the fighting game community. I have my own ways of finding out. Besides watching these these shills, but I think everybody's kind of bought out by something somewhere, and I think that's why I like Low Tier Guy again is because he's like he's real. He's the only real guy that you know whether he's like a bully to you or not. On his YouTube channel, right, his legit YouTube channel, he can like talk and cover things about uh. About, like, how fighting game communities used to be that was awesome. Um, but for the most part, Low Trick God is, um, you know, I guess he, he he's more of just an entertainer that ca- that makes the fighting game community, like, he is the face of the, of the fighting game community that we used to grow up with. Um... I wonder if I ever get a really good match. I really wonder. But, yeah, if you're, like, asking me, though, like, for the most part, like... You 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 can. 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 Anyway. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is, um... There's not really... Li- Oh! Oh! Time out! Yeah! We get a match! Yes, sir! Woo! Hey, settle down, okay? Damn, look at all that dog man! Alright, uh, I don't know. I remember I was using different characters before. I don't even care. It's just, I'll play anything. But. I guess I'll try to use that. This looks cool. I might lose. I probably will lose. <laughs> but seriously though, man. Um. Oh, hey, it's Dashy Sparkle. What's up? Hello. Are you back, or, or have you been here? Oh wow, this is really. Uh, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Oh yeah, wait, I forgot. There we go. You can. Oh, this game's laggy. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I'm probably gonna definitely lose. I don't even know how to use this character, he just looks cool to me. Yeah, this is really laggy though, unfortunately. <laughs> I finally get a match and this is what I get. <laughs> You can. You can. 
Yeah, this is really laggy. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you guys. <laughs> And it's delay based net code. too laggy. <laughs> that was the only match I get. <laughs> There's the only person I part every Oh and he's gone. Well ladies and gentlemen, you you know, people still play this game, but it's like once every two hundred years you'll see him. <laughs> nah, but seriously though, uh what was I saying? Um Yeah. You like these YouTubers, these these fighting game YouTubers. I don't really pay too much attention to them unless they're actually saying something that catches my interest. But for the most part, I just kind of treat them like, ugh, like they ain't shit. They kind of ain't. Like what's that one guy, Kizzy K? Kizzy K, don't care too much for him. Um, there's like one guy I might listen to, like uh, Anime Illuminati, maybe. But even then, he's kind of like, ugh. Um. I guess it's mostly because these are the kind of players, these are the kind of people that when I look at, and I've seen it a few times, like, they kind of sell out real quick just because of whatever's trending or whatever's topical for them to, like, boost their, you know, views or channels, I guess. But, yeah, seriously, though, like, I, uh, I don't like... Really feeling like, um, I just feel like that these, yeah, these, again, these players, these, these fighting game YouTubers, um, they're not, they ain't really about it. <laughs> like they claim they are. That's what that was. Oh, I'm already not to play the game! That move looks intense too. Like that one looks like it's the meanest attack in the game. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm saying though. Is um, I, I just I only have a select people that I do like follow, and it's mostly just low tier guy. Maybe anime Illuminati, like Maximilian for example. Yeah, like he's too much of a shell. He he literally like I felt like when you watch him, you ever notice you watch Maximilian and like. He acts like he's just way too hype all the time. But I, I'll be honest with you, I feel like it's fake, man. I really feel like that this guy's faking it, like, most of the time. Because there's been a few moments where it's, like, a live stream of him where he watches something out of, uh... Um... Like, he'll watch something trailer-wise... And before any of the editing can come from Maximilian and whatever team he's got for his videos and shit, like when you watch him, this dude literally, um, he's just as human as anybody else. If he is dissatisfied with something, he'll tell it right away. Like, yeah, here's a trailer for like, I don't know, a, a, a character that you didn't want for a fighting game. And he'll verbally just tell you, oh, this sucks. What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> But then when you, like, watch him later on and, like, uh, what, if the character comes out or if the game comes out that he was uh, despising at E3 or, like, the live stream, all of a sudden, you know, it's like, yeah, uh, he's just all on board. Like, yeah, you should play this game because I'm playing it. 
and it's really stupid. It's like, what is it, man? Like, I thought you, again, aren't really, uh... I, yeah, I thought you weren't really about it, man. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dear. Anyway, I don't know if I said too much. I, I, I don't know if, I'm, if I need to say more. But I don't really follow fighting game YouTubers except a few. I usually uh, follow more of like what used to be called My Ninja. <laughs> I'm ignoring this dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're trying to check up on Tadashi. <laughs> you're trying to check up on him. So it's like, hey, you cool, man? So no Axel. Dude, yeah, there's no Axel in this game, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm ignoring this dude now forever. Stop it, kid. It's getting annoying now. Oh, boy. Look, man. I seriously don't understand, like, where this kind of heat's coming from. In fact... Oh, well, no, I ain't gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. I, I think you need to figure out, like, your... your what I need to figure I think you need to figure out your equilibrium, dude. I don't want, you know, any kind of stupid beef or drama between any of my, my viewers. Um, but I think you Tadashi, I think you need to find your equilibrium because if you really look at how he was asking the initial question of if you like Axel or not, you got very defensive and you told him to shut up. And um I had to call it out for what it is. And I'm sorry, you, you're kind of being ridiculous right now. I don't understand. If someone, it, like, if I have a huge obsession or interest over something, why would I get defensive about it? Like, what's the point? Like, you're kind of making me not want to even play this game. Think to think, dude, can you ban him? Uh, ban one of the original members? It's getting annoying. Dude, this is way too early in my career to be trying to go around banning people. Unless you're a sex bot, no. Dude, do you not seriously realize... Hold on, man. I can't even play this game. Do you seriously not realize what's going on? You, you, you got defensive and... You know, it's... Welcome to the fighting game community, dude. The real fighting game community, the real like group of people that are about this channel... Is that we're gonna rip on you because you're you're clearly very conscious about something when you could have just made it a joke or something and you you got very defensive very like quickly. I don't understand what's the, what's the deal here. I'm not gonna ban anybody, dude. I mean, I'm about to honestly end the stream now because. Well, not just because, like, I think it's getting late for me and I want to do some other crap, but it's because now you're being kind of, you're being, you're pretty, you're being, like, ridiculous. I'm not even really giving a match anyway. No, but seriously, though, if you're gonna, like, <laughs> turn my channel now into, like, some, some, some beef to, what, what, what beef do you have with Boss Theory? Can you ask the question, can, can I ask you this to Dashy Sparkle? What did Boss Theory do to add to, to make you get defensive? He What did Boss Theory do to make you uh defensive or, or get get like this? What did he do? I'm gonna give you a minute to respond. Sorry for being defensive. I just can't feel that if I answer, I get bullied. You know, people hate Axel Lowe, and well, you know the story. I don't know the story. Do people actually hate Axel? I don't hate Axel. I don't play him. What do you mean, people hate Axel? Do you mean like video game wise, character wise? What do you mean? In fact, Axel Lowe, from my experience, yeah, not many people play him. But that's because he probably isn't that good of a character, just gameplay-wise. But I will be honest, like, the way they, you know, Axel Lowe existed in the franchise, they did a pretty good job writing him in. This British guy, time-traveling, trying to get back to his girlfriend, and then, 
you know, anyway, for anybody curious to know more about the story, I ain't gonna spoil it, but Axelos is kind of a well-written character. Gameplay-wise, he's the Dalsum of Guilty Gear. But I think they could have done Dalsum, you know, like him, they could have done Axel better. They start bullying you for free for a loving a character they can meet. The community doesn't hate Axel though. What community are you even like looking at or like following to uh see people have a hatred towards Axel? I've never seen it. Uh, I'm not even in a whole lot of communities. Whatever community you're part of, it's probably not a real Guild Gear community. Uh, unless it is, I guess they do. I think they're actually not. There's not a whole lot of people. There's not a lot of people, honestly, that give Axel the, the the attention that you think he deserves. But you're even like the 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 attention that you think he deserves, even um, it's false. Like you think people hate him. If there's people that even acknowledge Axel for being a character, you think they hate him. Every time I've seen an Axel player, they they're good with him, and also just in general, no one really hates him. Uh, where where are you coming from? Where are you really coming from with this? Now I'm curious. Now I'm about to like kind of postpone, you know, this whole me leaving the stream and ending it because I'm not curious. What's your psyche, man? What is it uh, about Axel that you like? What is it that you're trying to explain here to me? Uh, about Axel being hated. And again, what did Boss Theory like do to you to get so dramatic here? Like this is kind of now like a stream where I wanna just sit here and talk shit and play video games, but now I gotta sit here and start having like this I gotta start counseling or some crap. That's what I'm saying. Like uh Boss Theory, I have no idea where Tadashi learned this, but I'm not familiar with it. I don't hate Axel at all, and his reaction makes Axel players look odd. That's what I'm saying. Like, Tadashi Sparkle, what community are you part of? What is it, again, that, that sets you off? You said earlier, yeah, uh, I get bullied. You're, it's, you know, usually people you, you bu- but I've never seen it. This is the first time, like, I guess I've seen any, this isn't even bullying, dude. You're even like this in Discord. Like, you get very upset and very um, defensive to the point that you want me to remove other people's, like, comments and and shit. In short, I got defensive because I don't want to be bullied for loving Axel. In short, sorry. Okay, you like Axel. Dude, I even played a stream one time where I, uh... I picked Axel for you, right? I picked Axel for you. I suck at him completely. And I, all I kept doing was that um that att- <laughs> that attack that he used to have that was cool where he would jump miles into the air and then come right back down. He's like screaming, "I'm digging Like it was really funny. In fact, that was actually kind of cool. Axel Low was a funny character to me like next to Faust because his character in general was like uh very what's the word amicable like very he's very easy to get along with if he was like a real life person he's he had he had like no beef with anybody um but again not a lot of people play axel and i will admit that because i i play when i play gegzart i've only probably met like what four or five axels in my life i'm not kidding i'm not trying to like just this isn't like a a forced antidote. Like no, this really was how it is. I played maybe like five axles in my life, and some of them are really good. But even then, the way he plays it just ain't for a lot of people. All right, dude. But I hope you know fighting game community works. Making fun of each other is how we like to have fun with each other. That's what I'm saying. So to Dashy Sparkle, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll look. I'll say this for any of you guys that don't know, since 
you know, everybody's wondering what the hell's going on, you know, pfft, why I'm not even getting a match for one, but I got like one match. Now I don't even feel like playing anymore, but let me go ahead and try to like, I guess, end this on a, some kind of note here. <sighs> Tadashi Sparkle is on a Discord. Like, on my Discord, he's part of the group. And, yes, he's been on this thing for a minute. And he's always been like this. I- I'm sorry to put you on the spot, dude, but I gotta tell it for what it is. Because it really is just, like, you act very... You act... <sighs> Not mysterious. Like, you act in a way that people, like, are trying to make sure you good, dude. Because I can't count how many times that I had to actually sit there and and read your comments and text carefully, making sure that I'm not, like, screwed up for misinterpreting what you're saying. Um, but at the end, like, at the end of the day, we're trying to read your comments, and it's just like, dude, are you good, man? Like, what's this? What is your story at, at this point? But, yes, we would, we said some really effed up shit in Discord. And you're still here. So what I'm saying is I want to get yo give him credit, dude. Tadashi Sparkle's still here, and he's even still watching the stream. And I still thank him for it, dude. Like he is like one of the originals. He's one of the OGs. But man, I still cannot figure this guy out on why he gets very defensive and sensitive. You're probably not used to the fighting game community for what it truly needs to be, what it used to be. But I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna try to change for you. Like, I'll do some things for you. Like, I'll play Axel and shit, but this whole, you know, you need to ban him because he said this and it made me upset. Like, dude, are you fuck? Are you freaking serious? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I can tell it's getting late anyway, and I, I'm trying not to say too much and make you too upset. I'm not even trying to make you upset at all. If you, it's, it's, you, you make yourself upset. Uh, man, I really was not trying to turn it, turn this into some freaking, like, counseling session as whatever. And it's kind of not th- the way the channel's supposed to be. Ugh. Look, man. I can still give you credit for still sticking your neck out in this type of environment that you think is offending you. But I'm surprised you haven't figured it out yet that this is the type of environment that it is. <laughs> and I like it. Whatever. Anyway, that's the that's a dashy sparkle for you folks. So, you know, look, man, I think you just need to kind of like just, you know, get used to it, man. Like, no one's out for your throat. No one's out to like try to like hurt you personally. If you have some crap to say about me, please. Yeah, if you have some crap to say about me, if you want to talk shit, I'm right here. Like, the chat is right there. If you want to talk shit, talk shit, dude. Like, I'm surprised you haven't kind of, like, gotten used to it yet. Like, I want you to talk shit because it's funny. (laughs) You know, talk shit about how I got too many, you know, overlays and emotes on my shit. Talk about how you need to, I need to get rid of it. Say, I don't know. Say, hey, add Axel load to the overlay to your setup or else we're going to, um, add Axel's load to, or, to the overlay or else I'm going to, um, I don't know, leave. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't need to end this. This is, hey, woo, hey, I have fun. <clears throat> I don't care. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I really do appreciate all you guys, man. Like, yeah, we're all come from different b- backgrounds, and we're still trying to figure it out. That's all it is, man. Uh, that's the beauty of this world. You know, everyone's different, but we have one thing in common, and that's um, it's that guilty gear strive sucks, and if you play it religiously. I hope you get hacked. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I could go for a barbecue bacon burger and a large order of fries and orange soda with no ice and a piece of hot apple pie. We don't serve that here.
Neither do we have orange soda. Would you still like the burger and fries? Uh -huh. That will be 987. Hey, okay. the XRF3? This here is some serious bullshit. Ain't my best day. This ain't how I thought it would go. Mm -mm. That's actually not a bad burger. All right. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> I found a burger tank in this place. I'm gonna be a one-man cheeseburger apocalypse. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.